Okay, let's see. Oh, hey, KK. I just got back from my first ever socially distant yard sale. What is a socially distant yard sale, you ask? Good question. It's actually very interesting. If someone holds a yard sale, obviously. The only difference is, instead of laying all of the things out for you to pick through, they simply put all the stuff they have for sale into individual boxes like this one, and then you just purchase a box and see what you got. I know, I know. It's basically an estate sale. But I can't believe I got all this really cool stuff. There's a basketball trophy, some VHS tapes, those will be awesome to watch, a nursery rhyme book, a football helmet. I got an old CD, an uh, envelope of uh, old photographs. That's a little bit weird. <coughs> KK, is everything OK? <sighs> No, everything is not okay. I've been over here moaning and groaning for the last five minutes. Take a hint. I see. Is there something you'd like to talk about? Yes. My final exam for first grade. Final exam for? First grade. Keep up. It's called All About Me. And I've already had to do, look at this, a comprehensive research project uh, a family tree spanning back seven generations. Let me see that. Um, great, great aunt's maiden name on your father's side? Yeah, and then, look, that wasn't all. Look, then I had to do a 47 page questionnaire. On a scale of one to five, rate your personal adherence to the philosophy no man is an island? Yeah, yeah, and, and I couldn't just circle numbers. No, no, I had to fill in bubbles entirely with a number two pencil. And this is for first grade? Yep. Where, Harvard? No, Miss Sunshine's Elementary School and Yoga Center. Sure, why not? No, no, look what, look what I have to do next, look. Um, let's see. Write a couple of paragraphs creating an original story that is interesting, creative, and exhibits your personality. This is, this is terrible. I don't know what to do. This is the worst thing that has ever happened in my adult life. I don't know how to write a story. What? That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. KK. Sorry. KK, you have one of the most active imaginations of any person I've ever met. Are you sure? Of course. How do you know? You're talking to me. Hmm. Good point. Continue. Uh, KK, I have heard you make up some of the most interesting, creative, and purely original KK stories of all time. When? Well, with your Barbies, for instance. <laughs> Yeah, but those are Barbies. That's not writing a story. Well, yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it no, is. It KK, zip it. You can do this. Mm -hmm. KK, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. No, when mm -hmm. I said that you should zip it, it's not that. You can unzip mm -hmm. your lips, KK. OK, but where do I start? Well, what are three things that every story has in common? <gasps> oh, oh. Um, KK. Oh, um, it has a killer action sequence, um, a real smart female hero with witty comebacks, and uh, state-of-the-art gadgetry, like, like a car that turns into a boat with ejector seats. <laughs> so close, just so close. I was actually thinking a beginning, a middle, and an end. Oh, what are you doing? I'm writing this down. That's good. Okay. So the beginning of the story has... I N I I'll wait. G I E N D. Got it. Great. Okay, so the beginning of the story sets the scene and tells who the characters are. That's why a lot of stories begin with phrases like, once upon a time. Ooh, ooh, or, or, or like, 
a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Exactly. <laughs> or Marley was dead to begin with. Wait, what? That's the beginning of a Christmas carol. Like Jingle Bells? No, not a Christmas carol like Jingle Bells. Let's start with something simpler. How about that? Um, oh, the fairy tale book. Let's see. Yeah. Table of contents, table of contents. Let's see. Uh, oh, Jack and Jill. Who are they? Jack and Jill. The, the nursery rhyme. The beginning of the story tells us who the characters are and sets the scene and tells us what they're doing. It goes like this. <coughs> Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Ooh, what happens next? You've never read the story of Jack and Jill? No. Okay, well, next is the middle of the story. Now, in the middle of a story, something happens that changes the direction of the story altogether. Ooh, like, like when Luke is hanging from that tower and... Whoa, and whoa, 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 whoa. Spoilers. Haven't you seen that movie? Yeah, of course I have. I was oh. just messing with you. Okay. Okay, now the middle of Jack and Jill. In the middle of Jack and Jill, it goes like this. Jack <laughs> fell down and broke his crown. Oh, no. Is he okay? Well, that brings us to the end of the story. And now, sometimes in the end of a story, everything wraps up neatly, and everyone lives happily ever after. But not always. Sometimes... Our heroes are left in a dangerous position, like Sylvester Stallone, hanging from a rope stretched between two mountains. You mean cliffhanger? Precisely. <laughs> now, the end of Jack and Jill goes like this. Let's recap. Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack <laughs> fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Wow! So it's a bit of a cliffhanger. A little bit. All right, now it's your turn. Oh, oh, I, I, I can't tell a story like that. Sure you can. No, I can't. KK. Sorry. All right, now what's first? Um, a, a, a beginning. Yes. Uh, the beginning. Beginning. Was okay, I can see this is going to take some time. Let's, let's try something that will help you. How about we use um, the, uh, oh, the photographs in this envelope here. Okay, now, each of us will choose four photographs out of these old photographs from this envelope. Ooh. The first picture you choose will be your beginning. Start with a phrase like, once upon a time, and then set the scene and tell who your characters are to describe this picture. Then, the second and third picture will be the middle of your story, where something changes the story's direction. And then the last picture you choose will be the end of your story. You ready? Uh, Give it a go. Wh why don't you go first? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. This one right here? Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Oh, all right, I, I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Uh, once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a unique family of four. Uh, there's Bob and his brother, Gary, and Bob's two children, Ethan and Moskowitz. That's what he named Ooh, them, his true story. Very so this family would drive around town. And this Ooh. was back before there were airplanes and lots of fancy modes of transportation. And so they went around in this uh, Model T Ford, I'm guessing, I'm not a car expert. Um, and they would drive around the town and they would visit the grocery store and the barber to get their hair cut. And there was an old woman on the corner named Fanny who would sit in a Ooh. rocking chair and knit. And they would say, hi, Fanny. And she would say, hi, Bob and Gary and Ethan and Moskowitz. Just like that. That's what Fanny sounded like. And uh, they would drive around the town and they would wave to people. But after a while, that got really boring. They got tired of waving to Fanny and going to the grocery store. So they wanted something new and exciting to do. So they chartered a boat um, called the Ben Campbell, yep. um, of course. And it was a steam-powered boat. And they got all of the town together. And they got on the boat. 
and they sailed across the ocean, Ooh. visiting all of the fancy places of the world and seeing all of the sights that they wanted to behold. And they did it all in the Ben Campbell. And of course, leading the Ben Campbell was the captain of the Ben Campbell, whose name was Argyle. He was a salty old sea captain, and he always stood with his hand in his pocket to show that he was in a position of authority. And he would stand next to the mast, and he would say phrases like, Land ho. Land ho. Land ho. Land -ho. And that's how everyone knew that they could camp for the night. And um, finally, they reached the furthest corner of the world where there was a single lighthouse and a dock. And they all piled out of the Ben Campbell and sat on the dock of the bay, wasting the time away together. The wow. End. Wow. That was, that was so good. So see, you take the pictures and you create a story. And now you do it. Uh, uh, okay. Um, you try that one right oh, there. Okay. Um, this one right here? Yep. Okay. This is Edward. Mm -hmm. And Edward uh, is an engineer. Ooh. And he l likes to invent things with like gadgets oh, cool. and things. And he was tired of the regular modes of transportation. Uh, like of course. Cars. It's got very boring. And he's working on this new uh, mode of transportation. Oh. Um, but he's got to wear safety, gog safety goggles. Sure. Because. Um, there's, it has to do with electricity. He not want to hurt himself of in course. the eyeballs. And that's what he, see, he said. He said, safety first. Oh, he would always, always, safety he would always first. say that. Yeah, well, one day there's a big, um, look at this, there's a big snowstorm. Oh, no. Yeah, and all the people in the regular cars couldn't get around. They couldn't get through the snow. So Edward was, um, you know, riding around in his new um, transport. Sure. Uh, cause it, and it could go over the snow, but he oh. came across this family that got trapped in the snow oh. and they couldn't get out, and so he helped them. Oh, good for him. Yeah, he is, he's nice like that. He's a nice guy. So he took them to their home, uh, but their, their home <gasps> was um, destroyed by the, the snowstorm, oh, no. hurricane, tornado. Whoa! Yeah, it's all of the things happen at once. Oh my and goodness. And it, it turned the house over and they not have a home no more. And they are very sad. And they tried to live in this house like oh, this, but safe. it was very difficult. Everything would just slide sure. to the other side of the slanted. house. Yeah, see? And so because Edward was an engineer, he thought of an, uh, that he would help them find a new place to live. So he, he went to the lake, uh, but it was real cold, so it was frozen. Ooh. And um, he wasn't really sure what to do. So he, he thought he would do some ice fitching. Mm -hmm. That's when he got his best ideas. Sure. When he was sitting doing ice fitching. And while he was there, he realized that he could build a home under the water mm. for these this family. How creative. So he cut a big hole in the ice. Wow. And made an underwater aquatic living home for the family. That's amazing. And they live happily ever after. <laughs> that was incredible, KK. It had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it was creative, interesting, and showed your personality. <gasps> oh my goodness! That's all the things it's supposed to be for my final exam. Who would have thought? I did you it! You better write it down. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, so okay. Uh, put so, it on the test um, there, the final okay. exam yeah. for first grade. Um, and remember the pictures and write it just like yeah. you told it because it was amazing about Edward and his engineering One skills and his goggles and the house and the snowstorm, hurricane, tornado. Eight. Yeah. Oh, man, they're going to love it. Man. Great job. Man. Oh, hey, hey, Little B. Huh? Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs>